Okay, should be live. Do you see it? I'm refreshing. I don't see it quite yet. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Um, zoom in a little bit. I want to see how the delay is. Oh. Do you see the button with the hammer? The bottom? Yeah. Can you click it? Okay, yeah. I think the delay is like 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Which is fine. Which, I mean, that's pretty good. It, it like, asked me some, like, if I wanted to change it, I just left it default. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, the middle button, the globe, and, like, the pawn. Okay. It's the diplomatic lens. Okay. So then you can click declare interest. And then you can say you're interested in a certain region. So by default, Argentina is interested in the Andes, which is like Peru and Bolivia. Okay. And they're also interested in La Plata, which is like where we are. And then okay. you have one more point, which I think is already spent on Brazil. Should I use it on Uruguay? Well, it's the Brazil region. Yeah, if you click it, it should turn the color. Oh, it deselected it. It was already that by default. So the interest things will limit you to, um, like, where your country cares about. Like, if you wanted to, like, trade with South Africa and, like, become an ally of theirs, you would have to declare an interest in that region. Oh, okay. Or same thing with, like, Mexico. Okay. So, you can press escape to close. And then on the left, there's, like, a bunch of buttons. Yeah. The crate one is your market. Yep. And if you click it... You can sort by market price. So this is like your country's domestic market. So for you, like furniture is really expensive, clothes are really expensive, wood's Wood. pretty expensive. Guns. But like tools are pretty cheap. Wine is cheap. Uh-huh. Fabric is Tobacco. cheap. Tobacco. Tobacco. Okay. So the first thing you probably want to do is build some, like, lumber yards. So here. Uh, I think it's resources. This? No. No, under your mouse. Because you're on the agriculture tab. Oh, oh, oh. See, and then those are the things Log you can make. Okay, log so logging camp? Yeah. Click it. Mm-hmm. And then so peasants, that number where it's like 5.36k, okay. those are peasants that work on subsistence farms. So you can basically like pull them off their farms and it won't have much impact. Okay. So Santa Fe already has a, a logging camp, so you probably want to build one in there. Because okay. then if you buff Santa Fe for resource gathering, then you're buffing both of them. Okay, so click it. Mm-hmm. And then see in the top right, it says 5 out of 5? Yeah. If you click that, you're using your whole nation's construction capacity to build that logging camp. Alright. And... At the very top, it says negative 817. Yeah. That's My your money. weekly country's balance. Oh, okay. So if you click on that, it'll open your budget. And then you can click assets. 
and you see you have a gold reserve of 90k. Oh, yeah. So you Taking can go 800 like, of it. Yeah, so you can go like 120 weeks or like two years. Which you're gonna bleed money a little bit building that logging camp, but that's fine. Because you have so many gold reserves. Okay. So. You can close that. Or actually, on the left is the budget button. Reopen it. And in oh, the back here again. Tab, yeah. Um, you see consumption taxes? Yeah. So you can tax certain goods, like you're taxing tobacco. But I could you add can one. You add another one? Yeah. Should I? Mm-hmm. Well, I would just click it and see what there is. Like, you could tax grain and make a bunch of money, but that would also put strain on your um, imp impoverished people, like your lower classes. Uh, so wine is the best one I could do for the least yeah. loss. Yeah, or maybe looks pretty good. I think services is actually the best because it's two hundred for seven thirty eight. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, two hundred authority. Two hundred authority for seven hundred thirty eight. Mm -hmm. So you can tax it and then see you're making. Negative 79. Yeah, it's a little better. And at the very top, the second uh, bar, like kind of next to your money, is your authority. Influence? influence. Oh, authority. So you get authority <laughs> from being like an autocracy and having censorship and stuff. Yeah. So Argentina is a presidential dictatorship and you have like a lot of top down power. Yeah. And that gives you more authority. Okay. So I'm adding 408 every turn? Or every... No. This is like a static value. Like, you don't generate more authority. You just have what you have, and you can spend it where you want to. Okay. But if you got rid of that consumption tax, you would get your authority back. Oh. Then the one to the right of authority is influence. Mm hmm. And you get influenced by the rank of your country, like the diplomatic rank. So you're a minor power, so you get 600. And okay. then you get 100 base. So if you click on me. On you? Uh huh, on and... Shiloh. Okay. You can go to diplomacy. Oh, maybe interactions. Yeah, and then you can do stuff. Like, we could do a trade agreement. Uh, but I want us to form an alliance, but to do that, we need better relations. We'll begin improving relations. Yeah. And it says I have to research multilateral alliances. Before you can ally. Oh, I think I already have an alliance. Wait, let, let me look at my diplomacy. Or maybe you have an alliance? Okay, okay. begin improving. And see, that'll bring down your influence. Why? From 720 to 620. Because I'm using it to make to negotiate relations. Mm-hmm. You're using part of your country's diplomatic power to improve our relations. Okay. So if you press escape. So if like theoretically, if Brazil like started a war with you right now. The way they would do it is they would start a diplomatic play and then other people would have a chance to intervene. Like you could get the UK on your side and then the UK could like bully Brazil into backing down. 
or they would like intervene on your side, but they're more likely to do that if they have good relations with you. Oh, okay. So, I'd probably improve with either Britain or France. As well? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I click on them, yeah? Yeah. See, their relations with you are neutral. But France might have better relations with you than Britain does. Yeah. So if you click on France, what do they have? Disinterested. Will you click on that? Oh yeah, disinterested, neutral, reputable. When I played my first game, France was really cordial. Oh, Britain's wary. Yeah. So I already, I already clicked, I already clicked, uh, uh, the relations thing with them, though. Um. Can you cancel and then improve with friends? Because you'll get all your, um. Yeah, I got it back. I can't even, I can't even improve it with them, though. Oh, you don't have a shared interest. France, but you do with the UK. And same for me. Oh, because they own the Falklands. Those little islands next to Argentina, the red ones. Oh, those. These? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Britain right there. So they have an interest in this area. But if we got a little bit bigger, and then we, like, declared an interest in Colombia, France also has land there, and so do the Netherlands. So then we could improve relations with them. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is at the top, that little light bulb. Yeah. You want to click it. And then this is the research tab. And you can only research one thing at a time. Hmm. So I would go to society. Where's that? It's the third on the tech tree. Oh, I see. And then banking on yeah. the left. I think it's a really good tech. Because it'll give you more mining. Okay, I'm doing more that. mining. Okay. Close this? Mm hmm. And then I think we can unpause. All right. Oh, and yeah, time's just going. Yeah. Oh, you should save. Where's that? That way, if we mess up, uh, press just escape. start. Yeah. Okay, I saved it. Mhm. Mm that way, if we mess this up, we can reload. Go back to this point. Mhm. Mm Oh, it's telling me I can propose a trade agreement with you. Okay, I just... There it is. Accept? Yeah. I'm not sure what that did, but I think it'll make our relations better. Oh, also, Brazil starts this game in a war with Piratini and Grau Para. Uh, it's a civil war. I'm losing more money. Is it a lot? 150. Well, that's not too bad. You have a lot of gold reserves. Oh, wait, I need to build something. I spent my whole time looking at I was still streaming on Discord, I just turned that off. Yeah. Um. That's probably taking away my internet. Yeah. So what do I do now that things are just moving? Well, um... Is your building done? Like your logging camp in the top right? No, it's got a little blue bar on it. Still going. 
22 weeks until complete. Um... Oh, you could go... Or you could issue decrees, actually. So, if you click on your individual states, like on yeah. the map itself, yeah. Like Santa Fe, um, you see how it has like two logging camps and it's making 81 pounds if you go to buildings? Yeah. So you could right click Santa Fe? Oh, and like then the whole country? Do... Huh? Like the whole, the whole, uh, county? Or country? Yeah. And then you could do encourage Capital resource State. industry. Okay. And then they would get benefits to the logging, like how much wood they make. I did it. Nice. And you could also right click your capital. Which is Buenos Aires, it's on the coast. And then you can do greener grass campaign. And that'll attract immigrants, so then your population will grow more. Alright, I did that too. Nice. I'm losing a little less money now. I wonder if it kept my uh, tax. It did. Oh, good. Logging camps like halfway. Oh, nice. I would queue up a construction center after the logging camp. In uh, in Santa in the Fe. Political? Yeah, you could do it in Santa Fe. It's in the political lens, which is the second button on the bottom. Okay, and you queue up construction center. Oh, construction center, yeah. But do that when the logging camp's done? Uh, you could do it now, and then it'll build after the logging camp. And construction centers give you, or they let you build buildings quicker. But they also take wood and fabric to run. Okay, I think I did it. I don't know, though. I think you did. If you click the construction button in the top right, it should say logging camp and then construction center under. Oh, yeah, two additional projects queued. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. yeah. Can you make us go on speed four? At the top right? Did it? Yeah. I'm just getting kind of messed up because the stream is behind what you're doing. Oh. I'm just doing nothing right now, so you should be caught up. Okay. In recognition of accomplishment. Oh, did you get an event? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Industrialists <laughs> deserve all credit. Landowners, workers. Um, I would probably make the industrialists happy. Because if you start building up your country, they're gonna get more and more powerful. 
Okay, the logging camp is done. The construction center is working now. Nice. Oh, I'm making money. I'm losing again. I was gonna say, the construction center should kind of tank your economy for a bit. But you do have some gold reserves, so that's fine for now. It's tanking it less than the logging camp, though. Oh, that's good. I'm actually making money again. It's fighting between making and losing money. How does the UK feel about you? Wary. Okay. Are their relations better? Um. The relations are at 48%. Oh, plus 3% a day. Oh, so they're increasing. The mutual relations will change by one on November 21st. Oh, we have cordial relations now. Okay, awesome. So if you click on me, yeah, oh, you can do cordial. form alliance, peace treaty. I just signed a peace treaty, apparently. Wait, you did? Or it's telling me about Brazil's treaty? I don't know. Oh, yeah, probably Brazil, because they just got out of their war. Okay, click Form Alliance. Mm-hmm. Oh, obligation or not? No. Click. Okay, I accepted. Oh, and that alliance brought down my um, influence. Mine too, I barely have any. 70. I'm yeah. pretty sure it brought mine down. Yeah. But oh. now, Bolivia and Brazil are a oh, lot less I have likely to attack us. I have nothing under construction, and I'm losing two, the most I've ever lost. How much are you losing? 240, 300. Oh. And I'm oh. not constructing anything. Mm-hmm. Should I do a wheat farm? Um, I would look at the market price of wheat in Brazil. Because if it's negative, then you probably don't want to build a wheat farm. You could build something more efficient. It's positive. Okay. I actually just started importing. Oh, it is negative. You want the plus percent things, right? No, so the plus means that it's more expensive. Oh. It's a supply and demand system. You can see the buy orders and the sell orders. Well, so meat, there's meat more... would make me the most money right now. So livestock ranches? Yeah. And then where should I put them? Um... Well, did you buff agriculture anywhere? No. Um, I might click around on your states and see if there's a state that already has a lot of agriculture. Like, I see Cordoba in the middle of your country has wheat and livestock already. Oh yeah, they have two. Corrientes is three. Oh, dude, Corrientes has, um, it's on the river? Yeah. So if you click on the overview in the top right, it says Pampas. 
and it gives you more agricultural throughput. Okay, so I'm doing it there. Mm-hmm. And then you can also issue a decree on that state as well. And create like a little farming state. And where do I do that? Oh, you just right click the state. And it'll say like promote agriculture. Oh, yeah. Encourage agricultural industry? Yeah. Holy, so you're I'm it? losing 3k. Oh my god. Wait, hover over it. Does it say why? Government wages... Goods for military buildings. Is it construction? Oh yeah, construction goods. Minus 3k. Oh, that's where your deficit is. So what do I do? Um, you could raise taxes. Or should I add a consumption tax? Eh, that um, wouldn't really help me. Yeah, I would just raise standard taxes. Arming the natives? Arming the natives? We should de-escalate. If they want to fight, they'll get one. Oh. Um, you can escalate it. I should escalate it? Yeah. Okay. Cause do you see the little countries that are like- Wait, the wait. white outline? Really quick, should I do high taxes? Cause I'm on medium right now. Yeah, I would put it on high. Okay. Just so you're losing less for a bit. Okay, so what- what So that something? native- that native event you got? Yeah. Brazil was supporting the natives? But if you backed down, it would have slowed down your colonization of that area. But you don't really have to back down, because since we're in an alliance, Brazil probably won't attack you anyway. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if you zoom in on... You see, like... Garani? Yeah. You see how it's like white and there's like a blue outline? Yeah. That means that only natives live there and there's no like real state. Okay. So you can just colonize it. How do I do that? Um, you start the game already colonizing it. If you zoom in, it'll show like Argentina and it'll say like a certain amount of days. Oh yeah, 300. Yeah, you can hover over it and it'll tell you your progress. 35 percent mm-hmm 36 now i paused the game because it's almost done for me but if you look like at southern chile okay just just watch that area because i'm colonizing it and it should oh did it not do it Oh, I did get a province in the south. Oh, okay, I just finished banking. Oh, nice. So now I need to do a new one, right? Mm-hmm. Technology, what would you say I should do next? Production? Um, I'm looking at what's available. You could do intensive agriculture under production. It's on the far left. I did it. Okay. Um, where does it say? Oh, it says three years. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're in 1837 now. Almost 1838, so we've been playing for like two years. I built two livestock things, one of them finished. Oh, nice. Napoleonic Warfare unlocked? Oh, you got tech spread. So your country naturally gains technology of um, countries next to you. Oh. So I have Napoleonic Warfare, so I think it spread to you. Uh, click on the politics button. I've got a really good relation with the U.S. Oh, the U.S.? Political ones? No, the politics button on the left. Diplomacy, population. It's at the top. Oh, Paul, yeah, I'm blind. And then it'll oh, I just say... got the lathe for nothing. Oh, nice. And it's just an actual text spread. So it'll say your government? I think it's presidential dictatorship. Ooh, I'm going into negative money now. Oh, does it say why? Is it still construction? Oh, I think the construction's over and I'm making money again. Oh, good, good. Um, I might just build up a gold reserve and not build too much for a second. Okay. But on the left, it'll say like your government. Yeah. And then it'll show like your leader and the legitimacy. Yeah. What's the legitimacy at? 72%. Okay, that's pretty good. Because if the legitimacy goes way down, then people can get upset and become radicalized and stuff. And you're able to keep taxes high while your legitimacy <laughs> There's quite a few radicals. <laughs> oh, jeez. 35k radicals, 10k loyalists. Should I... Um... I was gonna say, you can hover over the radicals. Yeah. And then it'll say you how much they've changed and why they've changed. They don't like the industrialists, the armed forces, the Catholic Church, the landowners, or the rural folk. Who doesn't? The radicals. They don't like, like, anything. Oh, jeez. And the loyalists like all of it. Yeah. I don't know um, what the radicals do like. Hover over the radicals at the top of your screen. Like, under influence. Yeah. You should be able to hover over the change amount, and then it'll tell you why. If that makes sense. Standard of living is the main reason. Decreased standard of living. Okay, so you need to increase the standard a little bit. How do I do so, that? Do you see the little, like, grain icon under authority? Yeah. If you hover over that, and it says, like, middle strata, lower, and upper strata, yeah. are any of them lower than the expected? How do I tell that? It'll say, like, impoverished, and for me it says, like, 11.4 dash, and then 5.9 minimum expected. They're all above the minimum expected. Okay. Um, maybe go to market and see if any, like, common goods are way above market price. So there's a lot of them that are. All the clothing, furniture, and stuff is oh. plus 70 per 75 percent. Yeah, maybe make like some furniture stores. Make a furniture thing. Yeah, and I would build it in Santa Fe. 
because you already have one in there, and it might get a bonus for being in the same state as your leg. Should I build it now? I have 38k re reserves. Oh yeah. So do I hit the build button and then go resources? Or industry? And then furniture? No, I would, I would just press escape. And okay. just click on Santa Fe. And then okay. buildings. Oh yeah. And then you can click the plus. Because it's already making you money. Well, I don't see it. Oh, furniture manufacturer plus. Mhm. Mm and then that should tank your economy for a bit. Yeah, it's going down. But that'll be fine because you should have enough time to construct it before your gold reserves go away. And then the people will be less radical. Oh my, there's 55k radicals now. <laughs> and only 10k loyalists. It's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm looking at my own internal politics. Uh huh. I can reform the government and bring in the industrialists into government, and that would increase my legitimacy. Oh. Which I might do, because I kind of want them to be in power anyway, because I only have the army in power. And you did that under politics? Yeah. Where, under the laws? No, so politics... And then under overview, you can click reform government. Oh yeah. And again, for me, bringing them in, um, increased my legitimacy. And if I ever have a civil war, the industrialists will be on my side because they're already in the government. but I don't know if it'll be the same for you. So I just bring the industrialists in and then do it? Will it increase your legitimacy? No, it'll remove it. By how much? 7%. Um, can you bring the Catholic Church in? Yeah, minus five. Oh. Can Only the landowners in? bring it up and it's by 1%. Oh. Holy, without the armed forces, I lose all legitimacy. Yeah, they're like the whole structure of your country right now. <laughs> well, what should I do then? Nothing? Yeah, probably nothing on that front. Just keep building your furniture factory. It's 36%. Nice. I'm... I don't know if I'll have enough money. You might go into debt a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, you could manually import a uh, wooden... What's the other thing to build? I think it's fabric. Manually. So at the bottom, in the trade lines... Okay. You can do import trade route. Okay. And then scroll down and do wood. Okay. And then do the most productive one. And how do I tell? By amount? Uh, it'll say productivity on the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Brazilian market? Mm-hmm. Do it? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh... And so that'll bring in more wood, which will make it cheaper to build. But oh, yeah, I'm only losing 200 now. Yeah. It'll make your uh, bureaucracy go down. 
But you had a little to spare anyway, so I think you're fine. Well, should I? What was the other thing I could bring in to make it go faster? Fabric, but I don't know if you have that much bureaucracy left. Oh, you have 22. You can bring in some fabric. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Yo, I'm oh. actually making decent money right now. You're in a good situation. Yeah, I'm making 400 even though I'm still constructing the furniture place. Um, yeah, I'm I'm also doing pretty decent and this is my best game by far. Like I've played games and absolutely ran Argentina into the ground by now. <laughs> <laughs> but Oh, I wanted to mention that like, if you imported wood from the UK instead of, like, wherever else you imported it from... Brazil. Brazil. It might have been less effective for, like, your market. Like, it might have been more inefficient. It would have improved relations, though. Well, it would have tied them to you. Because then if Brazil invades you and you go under then that makes them go under too, because then they don't have places to export their wood. Oh. So the political and like diplomatic aspect of the game really ties into the economic. Yeah. I wanted to mention that because like, you could just click import and look at the productivity and choose the highest one. But and you that's could valid. consider allies too. Yeah, but you can also consider the diplomatic situation. Whoa, I'm making way more now. Good. Making almost 2k. I might let that go for just a little bit. Nice. You should save. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... It's making auto saves. Oh, good.
<clears throat> oh, you could lower taxes to remove radicals. Oh, now that I'm making money. There? Yeah. How did I get there? The budget screen on the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also click your money at the top. Oh, my. I'll lose pretty much all the positive gains I'm making in money, but... Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll lose the radicals. Mm -hmm. I'm still making decent. I'm actually starting to make more now that I stopped taxing them. Oh, good. It's gone up a little bit. I'm making 600. If you really want to get rid of the radicals, you can also lower taxes, but then your economy will probably go under. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Because I still want to be making positive gains right now. Because I got 42k reserves. So now if I go to the market, right? And then look at what's expensive. Pottery and luxury furniture and... Mana Wars? Is that just ships? I don't know what that is. Services. So how do I know, like, where it's the best place to do service stuff? Um... Wait, how do you look at services? I don't think I've seen that. Well, I just went to the market and I saw it was, like, um... expensive. I can't tell if I got it selected or not. Should I build a port? Well, that would increase your, um... That would increase your government wages if you did. But it would also give you more... Which I think would let you trade more. Hmm. Oh, do you see the little dot to the right of this? Of what? Your capital. There's like a little dot in the ocean. It's yellow. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Supply network. It, yeah, if you hover over it, it'll say available convoys and required. Yeah. Do you have more available than required? Yes. Then I probably wouldn't build a port. Because I think ports give you more convoys, so you can, like, train more and stuff. Uh... But you're not gonna go on an overseas war unless you want to, I guess. Like, you could invade parts of Africa. Um, and if you wanted to do that, you could build a port. But for right now, I probably wouldn't. Oh! Okay, I see an opportunity. Wait, I need to do another new technology. Uh, oh, do something in warfare. Military? Like logistics? Mm hmm. A new frigate, Power of the Purse. What's that? Fine Works Shell Gun? Logistics? Yeah. Which one? Logistics. Because it lets you conscript more people in a war. Oh, okay. 
And if you go to the politics view, and then laws, you can see your army model. Army what? Army model on the bottom left. Oh yeah, national militia. Yeah, so you have a small standing army, but most of it is conscripts. So logistics will be really good for you. But I have a professional army, so I have mostly um, like smaller army, better soldiers. So I'd be better off doing like per percussion cuts or like shell guns. Uh. But you're increasing your conscripts by 20%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, can you click on Uruguay? And then go to Diplomacy? Yeah? Do you see where it says, show relations to Uruguay on the map? Yeah. And then Attitude? You can look at these and see who cares about Uruguay. Oh. So if you click show attitude to Uruguay on the map, and you look at like Britain and France, mm -hmm. it says that they're, like if you hover over them, it says they're likely to intervene on the side of Uruguay if they need their protection. Yeah, they're protective of it. Mm -hmm. So you definitely don't want to declare war on them, but you could, um, you might be able to convince them to, like, be your subject or something. If you really wanted to. How would I do that? Declare rivalry? Um, we'll go to interactions. Make, make into protectorate? Yeah, protectorate is how you'd make them into your subject. But you could invite them to your customs union, which is like your market. And then they would be in, like, a subordinate position in your economy. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But you could hover over it and see what you would need, or, like, what you could do. Relations need to be cordial. Mm -hmm. So should I improve, start begin improving relations? Yeah. I mean, you have the influence to spare, right? Yeah, did it. Okay, I have decent gold reserves. I should build something, right? Mm-hmm. A dye plantation? Well, is dye expensive in your market? Um... textile mill. Oh. I could build it in a place that already has one and lose a whole bunch of money, or I could do it in a place that doesn't have it and lose almost nothing. Probably the one where you lose almost nothing. Okay, it's building. Good. Oh, I'm actually still losing 2k. Yeah, it's probably just construction supplies. I would have been losing like 4k if I did the other one then. Oh, I want you to change a setting. If you press escape. Okay. And go to settings. Yeah. And then game. Yep. Tooltip settings. Yeah. What's it on right now? Timer lock? If you do action lock, the menus will lock in place if you middle click. Okay. You can do that if you want to, or you can leave it on timer. I just did it. I don't even know what that's though. Like, 
hover over your population at the top. Yeah. And then you see that panel it opens? Yeah. If you move your mouse down, it'll just disappear. Yeah. But if you middle click, it'll lock on. Oh. Uh... And then you can hover over any of the keywords or like the percentages or the changes and yeah, it'll open up it. more menus. So if you hover over your money, mm -hmm. you can lock it. And then where it says construction goods, you can see like how much wood and fabric are taking up and like which ones were. Wood by far. Mm -hmm. So I could build a logging camp again. You could, or you could invest in iron, since you have um, iron mines available in Western Argentina. You could build iron mines and then change your type of construction to be um, like iron frame buildings and rely more on tools and iron and less on wood and fabric. Oh. And that would be a more expensive solution, but it would also be... It would make your construction sector better in the long term if you did that. So do I need to do steel mills or an iron mine? Um... Well... Click on buildings. On the left. Yeah. And go to construction. Yeah. And then where it says construction sector, you can click on like the saw icon. Yeah. And then if you hover over iron frame buildings. Yeah. You see how it says you need tools and iron? Mm hmm. Well, you can get iron directly from the iron mines, but then you'll also need tools. Uh. And it says tools are produced in tooling workshops, which take iron and wood. But it's not as much wood as it would take to use in the construction, like the wooden buildings. Uh-huh. So I would probably just build some logging camps for now, and maybe like one iron mine. Oh wait, you have gold mines? Yeah, I have one. Oh, dude, I would increase that. That's probably gonna print money. Just make another one? Yeah. Okay, did it. That's coming up after my, uh... Fab fabric. Or my clothing place. That's gonna take 81 weeks. Mm-hmm. I'll probably lose all my gold reserves by then. Yeah, I'm losing a decent amount of money. Maybe I should do high taxes again. Um... Yeah. That would be a good solution. Yeah, I'm not losing very much anymore. You could right-click on Western Argentina, where your, um, gold mine is, and increase, uh, what's it called? Resource industry? Um... I don't know which one is gold, but if you hover over it, it should say. I think it is resource. Mines. Yeah. Are on there. Yeah, do that one. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm only losing 300 instead of 2k a turn now. Or, or every interval. Isn't this game pretty neat? Yeah, it's it's complicated. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on, but there there's a lot mm -hmm. that's happening. And again, the game is like a whole big spider web of everything being interconnected. Like, I just started importing wood from Bolivia because I needed it to make myself stop losing money from constructing stuff. But now if we declare war on Bolivia, that'll go away. Mm. Or if they embargo me because I do something aggressive. Textile mill really improves my economy because I'm still losing and don't have much money left for the gold mine. Mm -hmm. Can I pause it? Oh yeah, I can. You mean the game or like building? The building. Yeah. So many radicals. I have 4,000 loyalists and 81,000 radicals. I'm kind of in the same boat. I have 83,000 radicals and 12,000 loyalists. But a lot of the interest groups are on my side, so I'm not too worried. Uh. Like, the elites all really like me. But a lot of the people don't. But since we don't have voting, that's not that big of an issue, as long as not too many people become radicals. Yeah, I still have 888,000 neutrals. Mm -hmm. And the military is giving me legitimacy. Good. Oh jeez, my country has no policing? Dude, I could enact a police force, and that would make the bourgeoisie army and landowners like me more, but it would make the rural folk like me even less. Oh. So I could make my country even more lopsided if I did that. I paused my uh, gold mine construction for a little bit. Oh. But I'm only making a thousand per interval. Mm hmm. I've been making an arms industry still. Because I want to be able to make guns just myself. That's also been really hurting my economy. I have a decent amount of influence. How can I use that? Well, um, you can improve relations with Brazil so they hate you less. Oh, yeah. 
Because if you ever make a move like invading Paraguay or declaring war on Bolivia with me or something, we, we don't want Brazil to get involved. So I'm also going to improve relations with them. Should I tax meat and use the last bit of my authority? Well, what's the standard of living for your lower strata? It's good enough. It's above. Uh, yeah, you can... You can tax meat. Because if their standard of living is fine, then they won't get too mad. Okay, I can do a new technology again. Oh wait, meat's a luxury good in this game. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's the 1800s. Yeah, <laughs> um, it'll only affect the middle and upper classes. So what should I do for tech now? Um. I'm looking at what all there is. Could he do nationalism under society? Where's that at? Society tab and it's in the middle. It's like a blue flag. Oh yeah, 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 I can. Do it? Because it'll give you more authority. I just did it. Yes. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm making enough now that I can... Uh oh. oh. I picked the wrong thing on the Indians, on the natives. I clicked, uh... Make peace instead of if they want to fight, they get it. Oh. Uh, well, that'll probably make Brazil less mad, so that might be a good Alright, I resumed constructing the gold mine, and now that I'm taxing meat, I'm still making money. Nice. And I've got 38k in reserves. By the way, if you go negative, you have to pay interest, too. Oh, yeah, that is Which not, is... Yeah. That is not ideal. Do you hear like the door opening and closing and like the fireplace in the background? Oh yeah, that's ambient sounds. It is really trippy. Cause this is, it's like your uh, political leader looking over a table, right? Yeah. I wonder how much this gold mine's gonna change my economy. I don't know. Because I already had one. This will be my second. I wonder if you can even export gold or if it just turns into money. I don't know. Oh, by the way, if you zoom in on your states, sometimes they have little icons, and it can tell you, like, if something's wrong. Like, for me, I made an arms industry, but it isn't that productive because it doesn't have hardwood. So now I'm looking at how to make hardwood, or if I should buy it. Because it's produced in logging camp. What is? Hardwood. Oh. Wait, but so I can I zoom know. in and see if, if something's wrong? 
Yeah. Uh, I don't really like if you hover your mouse over the states. Oh, if I hover my mouse over it? Mm hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Mortality in construction has people mad in uh, Santa Fe. Oh. Maybe there's a technology you could get that would improve that. It says Great Britain views Chile as a desirable ally in geopolitical affairs. Great Britain's only cautious with me now, but France is protective of me. Oh. Why that happened, I don't know. Well, France might have more, more of an interest in what you're producing. And Britain might want some of your land, too. Potentially. said I would if I, with my temper, because you know how when you hover over it, it says your temporary, it, excluding temporary costs, what you'd be making? Yeah. It said 1500 but I'm at almost 2000 right now. Oh, nice. Can you lower taxes, maybe? Yeah, I could. But why would I do that? The radicals haven't changed very much. Yeah, that's true. They're still kind of the same, so. I don't think oh. it's... The taxes they're mad about right now. Oh, for me, my middle class is upset. How'd you tell that? Um, I hovered over the grain. Grain? And they're... Huh? What, what do you mean you hovered over the grain? Oh, oh, oh. Like the standard of living icon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then their number is less than the minimum expected? And then I middle clicked that? And then it says that 52% of them have standard of living below the minimum, and they pay 23% in taxes, and they're also paying more than expected because porcelain clothes and luxury clothes are more expensive. Oh. And since I'm making money, I need to, um, I want to make a clothing sector. So what I'm gonna do is I need 
Well, I'm gonna need cloth, right? So, I'm gonna go to market and see how to make- or fabric. Produced in cotton plantations, livestock ranches, and subsistence farms. And I can't make cotton. Maybe I can make one of the ranches. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna import that stuff. Oh, I can import it from you. That'll probably make your economy better too. And you're gonna start importing what? Clothing from your economy, from um. your market. And I'm also gonna lower taxes. Oh, I have a consumption tax on luxury clothes. I need to remove that. I also need... Okay. Yeah, now when I construct stuff, I'm only losing like a thousand with middle taxes instead of like 4k. I'm gonna build more logging camps. Okay. You could also build another construction sector so you can build stuff quicker. How do I do that? Oh, in the political lens at the bottom? Oh, construction sector. Yeah. And in that lens, you can also build government administration and universities. Yeah. But building those will push your population into the upper classes, like upper and middle classes. Uh-huh. So then you have to consider making luxury clothes and meat more accessible if you do that. Uh. But the government building will increase your bureaucracy. Uh. Which might be good, because you're at like zero right now. Yeah, I could do more trading. Yeah. But you could also not do that and spend your money on making it yourself. I have 75k in reserve, so I'm just making the logging camps in the construction center. Okay. I think colonizing might be bugged, because I've been making this colony for so long and I haven't really seen anything change.
Oh, how does Brazil feel about you now? Antagonistic, they like haven't changed. But I'm not losing that much money, and I'm making the logging camps, so I think I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm looking at the attitudes to Brazil, and no one really cares for them. Like, the United States kind of likes them a little bit, but they probably wouldn't intervene if they fought them, so maybe we could go to war with Brazil. And what would that give us? Um, you could take territory from them, and you can demand war reparations, so then you can make them, like, pay you stuff. Oh. Oh, I just got a farming boom of that. Oh, it's an event because I was encouraging fun. Stay, okay. I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, I spend a little less on wood now that I have another logging camp. Nice. Okay, so Bolivia and Brazil have poor relations. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could improve relations with Bolivia and okay. maybe stop improving relations with Brazil. Okay. And then maybe you could invite Bolivia to our alliance um, and then to fight Brazil. Fight Brazil, yeah. And Bolivia has Peru as a subject state. So uh, me, you, Peru, and Bolivia would definitely win that war, if no one else intervened. Well, Brazil doesn't have any friends, so, like you said. Yeah. Like, they're really big, but they have no one backing them. Yeah, dude, now when I build stuff, I, like, hardly lose money. I'm at negative 300. And why is that? Um, well, partly because I have... I'm getting fabric from the ranches I built. And I built some logging camps earlier. And I just have more of a... I have more of a buffer. Like, I'm more positive than I used to be because I have the consumption taxes and stuff. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna research rifling. For our future war? Yeah. Well, because I have a professional army and I already built a, um, small arms mini factory, so I might be able to cut out my soldiers. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Look at Bolivia. They just united with Peru. They went from like an overlord oh. and a subject to like one big thing. Whoa. Oh yeah. my god. Dang. Sheesh. Okay, now we really don't want to fight them. How do you- what's the people above me that's all, uh, natives? I think Gara- Garani? Yeah, Garani. Can I, uh, fight them? Colonize. No. Yeah, you can colonize them, because they're not a state. You can press a uh, diplomatic lens at the bottom middle and then establish color. Which I think you're already doing, but I think it might be bugged currently. Because for me, I keep getting to like 100% and then nothing happens, so I don't know. Or maybe it takes longer than I'm thinking. I just finished nationalism in the tech tree. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I just looked at Europe and Prussia's getting bigger. In real life, they did unite Germany and they like beat up France and stuff, and it's kind of going that way in our game as well. Oh yeah. Wait, why is Peru and Bolivia pink now? I don't know what that means. Maybe they have a different government type or something. I'm gonna take a small break, I'll be right back. Okay. back. Yeah. Oh. Your stream looks pretty good. Okay. Um. 
good. Mm-hmm. Like the quality. I'm running it it's in 40 for now, but if I switch it to 1080p, it looks really solid. Yeah. Um. Breaking or anything. I don't know how to pull up my uh, chat. Is it on OBS? Like you hover your mouse over OBS and it might like pop up a window? Uh, I don't see it on here. Huh. Oh, chat. Yeah, right there. You said Argentina number one? Mm hmm. Okay, Does it show so a timestamp? Uh, no. I'm gonna send something right now. Just set. Yep. I see it. Chile Dang. number one. That was instant. Sheesh. Okay, cool. That was something I was wondering, like... How would I do that? But that was actually really easy to find. It's yeah. so much easier than I thought. I know. Well, in OB make it work. Speed used to not have that chat feature. Like, they really upped their game compared to Streamlabs. Why am I losing? I'm like not making much money. Uh... Well, where are your expenses coming from? Oh, I bet it's because if I stopped working with Brazil, I need to look at my trading. Oh. How do I? If you go to your market on the left and then trade routes. Yeah. Sometimes there are even inactive trade routes, or unproductive trade routes, and you can close those, or you can, like, start a new route. I don't see... How do I... So how do I cancel my trade routes with, uh, Brazil? Go to market? Oh. Okay. Trade routes? Trade routes. Oh. And then they might be at the top, or you might have to open the menus per good, and you'll yeah, see I the flags it. for every. Yeah. Which it's probably a good idea if we're going to war with Brazil. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need steel to make rifles, which means I need steel mills. Oh, wow. Okay. some construction sectors, it's getting kind of slow for me. Oh, what the heck? Tyler, look at Chile. <laughs> like the, the western bit of my country. Did you lose a little bit? No, you... You colonized a little area. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know when that. It's so funny. You have like a little peninsula. I'm still barely making any money. Mm hmm. And I don't know how to change it.
I'm going to see what Brazil has in their states next to you. Because if you take one of these states, then you can seize whatever they have. Ooh, this one has livestock coffee plantations, barracks, livestock ranches. Like those built or the capacity for those? Built. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's the one you would want to um, justify for. Yeah. So how would I even do that? Um... Well, you probably want to save first, in case someone intervenes and rolls on us. But, you would click on Brazil? And then interactions? Wait, wait. Yeah. I have 10 plus 2 people, and they have 40 plus 24, like, arms. I know, that's why we need Bolivia. Oh wait, that's you, as an ally. Where's my military power? Oh, I have 10. You have 10 plus 12. Okay. You have 10 regulars and two constructs. So we don't have enough to fight them, huh? No. But if we get Bolivia on our side, then we're going to win, because Bolivia has 37 plus 5. And since Britain likes you so much, we might not even need Bolivia, and Britain might help us. You wanna just save and try it? Yeah. Okay, I'm saving. Oh, and also right now, I'm researching rifle, so I could get a um, tech lead on them if we wait a little but yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna click it. But it's like... I can only attack the whole country, it says. Like, how do I take a specific... Like... Like, zoom out to, like, the paper map to where it's not terrain. And then just click on Brazil and click Diplomacy. Or Interactions, actually, my bad. Yeah. And then scroll down to where it says Conquer State. Yeah. And then hover over, like, hover over those till the one oh, you want yeah. to up. And then you'll open a diplomatic play for that state. Rio Grande do Sul. Mm hmm. That's the right one. So click that on that and then confirm? Yeah. Okay, I clicked it. I don't know what's happening now. Oh, we're at oh, war. In the top right, there's a diplomatic play. And then there's allegiances. Do you see all that? No. I'm gonna pause for a sec. So under, like, the pause menu... Yeah. There's a button, and it says diplomatic play in Brazil. It's, like, under your construction. Uh, I don't see what you're talking about. Like, just under your construction. Oh yeah, diplomatic play. Yeah, if you click on that, in the overview... Yeah. It says the overview and then allegiances. And if you click allegiances, the UK, you might be able to, like, click them and sway them to it's our It says sway countries. Yeah, can you do that? How, how would I do that? Click Great Britain and then do what? Can you click, like, offer obligation and do they have, like, a thumbs up? But, but where would I do that? I'm in overview. 
Oh. In allegiances. There is no allegiances. It says sway countries. Oh yeah, click sway countries. It says allegiances for me, because I'm in your alliance. Then what? Can you sway anyone? Austria. Oh, do it. Because the earlier you do it, the more likely Brazil is to back down. So how would I do that? Uh, just click on Austria and then offer them obligations, I think. Ask to become protectorate? Is that the only thing you can do? Well, it says they'd accept being a protectorate. No possible diplomatic play. Uh, I'm looking on your stream, and it says that New Granada, which is Colombia, is also swayable. Yeah. Can you offer in them anything that... Oh, I see what you're looking at. Can you stream on Discord for a second? That way I'm up. Like, yeah. That way I can see it live. Okay. Click on the diplomatic play. And then hover over the Austrian box. Like, the gray area. Oh, during the diplomatic maneuver phase. Okay. Because if you click on overview, the first phase is the opening moves. Oh, okay. You can, like, add war goals and stuff. Which you could do another conquer state, but that might also make... Uh, the other people maybe do war reparations as well. Oh, that only took 50 of your points. You see that on the left? No. Oh, this? You had 60 maneuvers and so did Brazil. So maybe you want to add something else. I don't know. You could conquer another state. Should I? Yeah. I mean, let's just try it. Because then, if this doesn't work out, then we'll see... The nearby states are Santa... Katarina? I'm gonna do that. Okay. I have 37 moves left. I don't know if it's adding infamy though, because I know that's a mechanic in this game, so maybe just leave it at that? Or what's that, um, 15 number, like the red number? I don't know. I think I'm good with what I got now. Okay, so... Can you slow down the time to like maybe 3? Speed 3? Okay, and I'm gonna unpause. And then... Right when it gets to the diplomatic. I think I'll just phase, leave the Discord on. stream going so you can see that, because I'm still in the green on OBS. Oh, good. Okay, we're in the diplomatic maneuver phase. Oh, we are now. Yeah. Okay, so now I can make offers. Offer obligation? Well. That is offering your own obligation. You could offer for them to get a Brazilian treaty port instead, so you wouldn't owe them anything. Do you see that? The thumbs up at the bottom? No. Like, go down a bit? See, offer to oh. the treaty port? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just clicked that. And then... So, Rio... I wouldn't offer Rio de Janeiro, but the other two would be good. Because you probably want to take Rio de Janeiro eventually. Yeah, so I just didn't want to pause. And then Austria should be on our side. I 
think. Did it work though? Can you offer? Maybe they're. Oh, I'm, no, I'm attempt, I'm attempt. oh, they're supporting us now. Oh. I'm looking at the thing. Can you do something in the overview? Dude, this is really cool. Oh my god. No maneuvers left for this country. And I can't sway anyone else. Can you do something in overview? I have zero maneuvers left. Oh, uh, all you can do is back down. I think in that final bar, it like escalate. Like if we. Like it'll force them to back down. I'm gaining like no money. I need to win this. Still, but you'll get reparations too. That'd be nice. Not be dirt po dirt poor. I'm not making any money, and I don't have any reserves. Plus, we could cut Brazil down, so then they aren't a threat to us. Yeah. Uh, can you put us on the speed floor? I'm just hoping no one intervenes on Brazil's side. Like Britain. <laughs> Yeah, that would not be fun. But they or like have, Russia. They didn't have good relations with anyone though. Mm hmm Which is why we're doing this on Brazil and not like Bolivia or Paraguay or something. And we're on the countdown to war phase. And they're worried. Dude, do you see that? Where? If you go to the diplomatic play. Where? Uh in the top right, like you can click the button. Oh yeah, yeah. You see, Brazil target Wari. Oh, instead of cocky. Which, which means they might even back down before war starts. Oh. If, if we had the UK on our side instead of Austria, that's probably what would have happened. But I'm guessing we might go to war. Oh, they backed down! Oh, and I got it! Yes! Yes! Wow, I got the Jeez. land. But they only gave in, uh, they only gave you the one state instead of everything you wanted. Wait, I'm losing money now, do you see this? Yes. So, I'm gonna pause it and take a second to explain this. So your main goal in that whole diplomatic play, you had the one goal of conquering... Rio Grande Rio Grande Sol. Sol. Mm-hmm. And they What's Corrientes? The Did I have that before? Yes. Okay. So you didn't get the other state, Santa Catarina, or the war reparations, because it didn't escalate to war. Oh. Uh... Because if it escalated to war, you could have gotten all of those things in Austria when it got the port. But you just promised Austria something if it broke out into war. And then now, we just got an easy them, dub. Yeah, you just got an easy dub. And it was nice that you could do that instead of offering them obligations, because then they could demand stuff from you now, if you offered obligations. But now they can't. But now they can't, and you're just bigger. But why am I still losing money? Like, I'm gonna- I'm about to go into debt. Well, getting that state didn't, um... Your economy would have been in a good spot if you got the reparations, but I don't know why it's like that now. Um, maybe hover over your expenses? Oh, the state? Okay, okay, I'm looking at this now. Look at Rio Grande Sol, let's zoom in on it. And if you click on it, you see how they're in turmoil? Oh yeah, tax waste 50%. So click on the state? And then go to overview. And you see how it's unincorporated? Can you incorporate the state? Five years. Yeah, so you have to integrate it with the rest of Argentina. Okay. So now what? I'm losing two I'm gonna lose I'm losing two K. Yeah, you're gonna need money in the meantime somehow. I'm I'm looking at my options here. I'm losing oh. a bunch of money on government slaves. Yes. But slaves are also nice, because if you build something where people, um... Like, if you build something and no one's going there, you can, like, move them in there. 
I al and if I'm you also free them, negative you're gonna... bureaucracy. Yeah. You have 9% tax waste because of negative bureaucracy. I need just one second. If I research central banking, I can bankroll you for a while. Like, I could pay, or I could, I could pay the difference on your economy, because I'm making 3.52 right now. Oh, you need to look at your trade routes. I think that's the most important thing here. Should you I cancel some, this one? Yeah, because it's inefficient. And now you have more bureaucracy. And maybe open up the tabs on, like, clippers or something? Or, like, whatever. Like, anything that's unproductive. Oh, clippers are pretty good. Man of War, that's also pretty good. This isn't. Oh, yeah, and the... The tool route, yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's only 1% ineffective. I'm still getting 6 bucks. Mm -hmm. This one's only 0.9. Wait, is that number the effectiveness? <laughs> this is to you. Oh. Oh no, that's the price of clothes in Argentina. Oh. And you're exporting clothes to me, and clothes are expensive in your market. So if you end that route, they would become cheaper in your market, and then your middle class would be happier. So should I cancel? If I quit buying that from you. But what um, about this one? I'm lo this is negative 5.9. Yeah, that's also me. I might just stop that route. How do I end the route? Can I not? Uh, I don't know if you can directly, but I can directly end it. I just did, and it should be gone now. I'm still losing money. Oh, it's not too much. I, um... I wouldn't worry about it, because I have a ton of money, and once I research central banking, I can pay off your debt, if you go too far in debt. And for the time being, you're gonna integrate um, Rio Grande de Sol. Dude, this game is so cool. Okay, I'm losing way less money now. Good. Yeah, you're like breaking even, because your um, tax efficiency is fine. Because your bureaucracy is back to Oh, I have 17... Maybe I could do a positive trade route now. Oh, yeah. Could I import something uh, like wood from someone? Well, I would look at your... Um... I would make sure your population's happy, because this could be an opportunity to import something they really need. Well, how would I they tell what they need? They look pretty good. Uh, like, a uh, middle click here? And then, like, look at the lower class, class and middle click again. And then you see the 23.4? You see at the top? Grain is 31% of their money, like what they're spending, and uh, services is 19. So I should break, so I should trade for more grain, huh? Well, is grain expensive? Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you could import grain. From Uruguay, it's 4.3, or 5 from Russia. Should I, I do would that? Russia, yeah. Because you might annex Uruguay later, but Russia would be fun. Well, so my money still hasn't changed much, it doesn't look like. That's good, though. Because you're kind of supposed to be losing money right now, because you're integrating that skill. You have a population of 1.5 mil now. Nice. Oh, your GDP is 1.3 mil. I think that's way higher than what it was. Oh, Rio Grande Sol is 20% of your GDP. Well, 18 now. If you click on the state, it'll tell you how much it is. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, 18%. Yeah, and it has, wait, how many people? 206K. Uh-huh. 
Oh, and do you see the modifiers at the top? Infrastructure and agriculture. agriculture. So you can make this an agriculture state. Yeah, I could build the grains, some maybe some wheat farms there so my people don't pay so much for wheat. Yeah. Or you could build the um, cattle ranches for cloth or for fabric so you can make clothes. Should I construct right now? Because. No. I'd lose way too much. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, I'm losing way more again. Why am I losing so much? Um, oh, my diplomacy dropped. My bureaucracy, I mean. Why? Oh. Where's that trade route I started? What was it for? Oh yeah, grain. Well, your grain's only 1% more expensive than expected. Yeah, but, but I'm losing so much bureaucracy, I need it back. Yeah, so click on grain. Yeah. And then the Russia- oh, it's inactive anyway. Cancel so some? Clippers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a lot better. This one's also inactive, get rid of that. Oh yeah, close it. Maybe something's happening in Russia, because those were both inactive. Oh yeah, something is happening in Russia. That would make it inactive. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are more with Russia. I see where infamy is now. Okay, that's something I didn't understand about the skin. Um, if you click on me. And then diplomacy. Or it's actually any of the times. You see how it says infamy reputable? No. At the top? Or, like, under that? Under? No. To the right of relations? Oh, See how it says I have zero infamy? Yeah. You can look at yourself, too. Um, you can click the arrow at the top. Next. Yep. And then infamy. Reputable. So you have 3.4 infamy. Oh. But if you look at, like, let's say Prussia, they have 64 infamy. Oh. And they're notorious. So if you're, like, super aggressive and build up infamy, everyone will gang up on you. And I'm, like, 55k in debt. Uh-huh. It all depends on what happens when uh, Rio Grande do Sol is added into my nation. Mm -hmm.
I could do high tax. Well, how many radicals do you have? 269,000. Out of 1.1 million. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. I'll get 50% more radicals and lose 10 legitimacy. If I do the high tax. 50? Oh! Oh, okay, people are more likely to become radical. Okay, I see. Well, what's your government legitimacy at? 64%. Oof. Um, can you bring anyone into the government? And have that make you more legitimate? You have to hit reform government. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus 2%. Ooh. Ooh. What should I do here? Uh, wait, what's the top option? Crush them all. You lose authority and devastation for a lot of So loud. Jeez. Which one of these do you think I should do? Oh, the bottom one. Don't, don't care about Brazil. I would do the top one. Oh. What? Oh, it did the top one by default. Because you, like, it auto selects it. Oh, because it took too long. Yeah, but that was the one that you should have done anyway. Wait, you can bring in the intelligentsia, and that'll increase your legitimacy. By 13%. But I can't have. Okay, so I should do this and then do the high taxes, I think. Yeah. And now I should do the high taxes and I can get out of debt. Yeah. There, now I'm making money. Mm. And it's... I'm losing authority though. You should end in, yeah, consumption tax that isn't that efficient. How do I end this? Uh, oh, go back to the menu you were on. Like in the budget. You just right click it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a, I have plenty of authority now, and I'm but I'm making just a little less. But at least I'm climbing out of debt. You're in a good position now. Uh huh. Now I can just wait for uh, Rio Grande to come into the fold, mm -hmm. and I'll be out of debt by the time they are probably. Then you can lower taxes. Uh huh. I think that was the move. Because otherwise I was going to be screwed. Mm -hmm. I'm also research researching improved fertilizer. Uh, that might be good because you're gonna build um farming stuff anyway with your OP rivers. Mm hmm. When does the game end? 1936. Okay. And when did we start? 1836. Oh, okay. So it's been 14 years and the game has 100. Oh my god. Yeah. But we're only on speed 4. And yeah, you... speed... Huh? Huh? Go on. Oh, I was gonna say, speed 5 goes as fast as it can go, but speed 4 has like a set amount. Oh, okay. But we might need Starlink for speed 5. Yeah, for the internet to keep up. But even I don't know. speed 4, I mean, this is pretty decent. 
I don't know if I even want to go faster. Thirty-six percent for Rio Grande. Mm Yo. Yo. Yeah. 
How's your economy doing? Uh, only 16k in debt now. Oh, good. But I still can't. I still can't go and cut the taxes. Because mm. <sighs> I start losing money again. 50% for Rio Grande. Britain's so much wealthier than we are. Yeah, Britain is nuts. <laughs> By the way, you can click on each nation's leader, and it'll tell you like their age, popularity, interest group, and that kind of thing. Like on their portrait. Yeah. And under it, it tells you um, character traits. Like my guy is a polit is an expert political operator, which gives me twenty percent more authority. He's an expert diplomat, so he's popular and has more influence. And if he's a commander, his soldiers have more morale recovery. My guy's loved 100%. Dang. Experienced diplomat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also figured out how to tell how close I am to... Uh, taking over the state above me. The colony. Oh, really? Yeah, so click on me, go to overview, and then go to growing colony. Growing colony? I don't know if it'll show that for uh, you. I'm looking at your hard stream. Look, here. Growing colony right there. Oh. It's 53% of the way. Oh, what's this? I'm losing power rank. Oh, me too. Any prestige? I should declare an interest. Wait. It says we need prestige to maintain our rank. Or... The power projection of our army or navy? Or becoming the leader producer? Maybe we can declare a rival. I don't even see where to do that. Like if you click on Brazil, you can do interactions. Yeah. Declare rivalry. Yeah, will that give you prestige? 400 influence. Oh. Huh. Let's see, I can declare an interest in anyone right now. Who should I declare interest oh. in? England? Uh, yeah, you could if you want to. Or, you could move it to, um... Bolivia. Africa? And then you could, like, humiliate an African country that doesn't have a real military for prestige. 
Like what? North Africa? Like... Benin? Or Oyo? I don't see that on here. Uh, oh, just zoom in on them, on the map. Where are they? They're... They're really close to your cursor. Like, up a bit? To the left of Sekiro. Oh, yeah. Benin? Yeah. Oh, the Niger area. That whole blue area, you can interact with people in there. Alright, I did it. I did it. So. so maybe click on Benin? I'm just looking at all their countries and seeing if anyone is really protected by any, like, European power. Oh, they kind of all are? But the Congo? Is it? So do you see Sokoto? Yeah. Under that a ways, there's a country that's like actually filled in and it's the Congo. Like under it, like south, above what Portugal has. Right there. Yeah, you might want to declare your interest there because no one really cares about it. And then maybe you could like humiliate them or something. How? Uh, click on them. And then scroll all the way down. Can you do any diplomatic plays? No. What does it say if you try to do any diplomacy with them? I can't do anything. Like hover over the gray part on interactions? Like, to the right. Where? The empty bit. Like, where it says begin improving relations. There's like a gray space to the right of that. Well, it says you have to be neighbors or have interests in the same strategic regions. Huh. Oh! Oh! I can do it all of a sudden. Maybe scroll down? Yeah, can you like make it a puppet or something? That might give you prestige. Or you could just conquer it. Or what? I said, or you could conquer it. That might give you even more prestige. You give me infamy. What do you think I should do? Uh, I think you should save, and then... And then... Make it a puppet. Cause on the tooltip, it says you gain a portion of your subject's prestige. Okay, and then we're in a diplomatic play, and they're already worried. War reparations? Should I do uh, Yeah. And you could make them op open their market to you. And they might back down. Should I do regime change too? Um, let me look at your infamy first. Yeah, you can afford that.
Okay, we're in escalation phase. Let's move up. Two arms? Well, what just happened? We're in a war. But it just showed a thing where I could say two arms, but then it went away. Oh, that's because I clicked it. Oh. Uh, um. Okay, click on your military. Which is... The swords tab on the left. Okay. And then go to navy. Do you have any boats? Oh, you have an admiral already. Can you click on him? But click on- click what on him? Like, it, Oh, the button's on the right? Can you tell him to do something? Like, navally invade? Naval yeah, invasion. naval invasion. That's what you mean. And then Congo. Mm -hmm. And then and he should go do it, I think. I'm really close to colonizing. Oh, nice. Does it say what your admiral's doing on your military tab? 80% to mobilize, I guess. Uh, oh. Okay. Should be about ready. Oh, they're fighting. They're losing so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we both landed. They have six units, and you have six, and I have five. And you should be able to get everything you demanded since we actually did go to war. Oh, now we have a headquarters captured. Can you do anything with that if you click it? Activate conscripts? No. Because that'll conscript your general population. Well, the military is doing pretty good.
I don't know, Kyogre came back. Sheesh. Antagonistic a thousand. Yeah, that might be a little upset. <laughs> oh, I just lost tons of authority. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm re naval invading them. I think you need to recruit a general. I think if you go to army. Army. And then recruit general. Because I think your general died in the battle. Okay, I recruited two of them. Okay. I still can't do it. Now, I don't know how you can send over your units to the HQ. You might have to do it with your general, since I already got the beachhead. Mobilize? And then maybe advanced front. And then in Congo. Did it. And that might be transporting over there. Also, I think your other general was put on standby. Standby. Mm -hmm. So if you take him off the side, he should be able to advance. I can't. Oh, he has no battalions, it says. Okay. Well, I have 12 units here, and I think yours are on the way, too. Okay, this is looking good. Oh yeah, 14. Country is present too. Okay. My general is leading the battle, but we're both here. Okay. Okay. This is the first war I've actually done. Dang. Well, it only came out when... Yesterday. <laughs> yeah.
I got I got the central banking technology, and I just started making way more money. Oh, nice. The fertilizer, the improved fertilizer is taking forever. Five years still left on it. Oh! We won the war. Nice. Yeah, it says... The following war goals were enforced on Congo. Regime change in Congo. Open Congolese market. Congolese war reparations. So they okay. give us reparations, or...? Yeah. What? So what do we get? Uh... You should have gotten prestige from that, I would think. And it says their market is open? But I don't know how to interact. Was Rio Grande Soul incorporated? Yep. Oh, okay, awesome. But my income didn't change that much, if any. Dang. Yeah, I wonder why I didn't do the um, conquest or like puppet thing. Because I don't think they're your puppet right now. Did we not win enough for that to happen? Maybe. It says they're paying weekly war reparations to Argentina. I constructed another uh, livestock farm, and now I'm just losing money. Oh dang. Oh hey, the um... The United States doesn't like Bolivia. So if we fought them, then they probably wouldn't intervene.
I'm like switching between making and losing money. Mm -hmm. well, I think this is a good place to end, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna stop the stream too. Okay.